All right, here we go, guys. Nice afternoon at work. I want to show you guys what you'll notice to be a Tillotson 212E or Harbor Freight Ghost or Ducar 212 cylinder heads. Now, the one on the left is Predator Ghost. The one on the right is my original Tillotson 212E. Now, this one is special. It has been professionally ported and polished by the mad scientist himself, uh, who wishes to remain unnamed at this time. But I do have access to him, and uh, send me a DM if you're interested in his work. Um, this head has been completely ported and polished. Um, chamber has been shined up a little bit and the valve sizes have been changed to what'll just fit on the stock seats. We went about as big as you would want to comfortably go. And we bought blank valves from Faria, and we cut them down, uh, cut them to the lengths that we wanted. And we ended up reducing the stems uh, from 5.5 down to five millimeter. And this is kind of what we ended up with. And believe it or not, it came out really nice. And see how he took most of that big step out of there. And the seats just flow right out into the chambers. Very nice, high quality valve. And what I want to show you particular is the intake runner and I want to show you guys what a quality port job looks like. And by quality I mean here's our intake flange. A typical intake flange. We don't need to hog that thing all the way out to the edges to where it'll barely seal to get air to move. This is not where you're going to pick air pick airflow up right here. Where you're going to pick up air, where you're going to pick up CFM, is down inside there where it's hard to get the grinder. Now, you can see without even shining a light in there, a night and day difference on this one. Now, you can see he didn't get too crazy. What I want you to look at is the tightest spot, what they call the cross section, the smallest part in there, in that runner. You see how tight that head gets? So your smallest part, your cross section would be right in the center of that guide to the bottom, and then the tightest spot across the side there then we move over to this head. Whoa. That is a pretty big jump in area right there. Plus the guide's been pretty much laid back and taken out of the way. Well, let's take another quick look down that runner. Oof, that is night and day. I think we're going to see some huge gains on the intake side. Along with more than subtle gains on the exhaust, that cross section looks pretty terrible. And that guide comes down and gets in the way quite a bit. It's hard to see because that's not very clean. But when we rotate the new head around, it's pretty evident and that cross section is and that's an entirely new head right there and then that exhaust side on the ghost after it's been ported and it's just a completely different animal as far as I'm concerned this head is going to make huge changes to the attitude of that motor which actually runs really good um, one of the first things I did to my GTS bike when I got it, it had a really nice, you know, regular 
Predator 212 in it. We pulled that off, and uh, while we were going to build it and take it apart, I bought a 212E and dropped it in there and did the Stage 1 kit. That bike hauled ass. It was fun to ride. And then uh, we put our hopped up 212, new to me then, in there, and uh, one upped it. And every time we won up, one upped it since then. Well, let's take another quick look down that runner. Oof, that is night and day. I don't think we we're going to see some huge gains on the intake side. Along with more than subtle gains on the exhaust, that cross section looks pretty terrible. And that guide comes down and gets in the way quite a bit. It's hard to see because that's not very clean. But when we rotate the new head around, it's pretty evident and that cross section is uh, that's an entirely new head right there and then that exhaust side on the ghost after it's been ported and it's just a completely different animal as far as I'm concerned this head is going to make huge changes to the attitude of that motor which actually runs really good um, one of the first things I did to my GTS bike when I got it it had a really nice, you know, regular Predator 212 in it. We pulled that off, and uh, while we were going to build it and take it apart, I bought a 212E and dropped it in there and did the Stage 1 kit. That bike hauled ass. It was fun to ride. And then uh, we put our hopped up 212, new to me then, in there, and uh, one up to it. And Every time we've won up, won up it since then. Well, anyway, guys, that's about it for me for right now. But we got some pretty damn exciting stuff going to happen here. We're going to have another 2.8 build. Um, that'll be happening in about uh, a week or two. Our 3-incher. Our 3-incher is coming home to roost. We've got two heads uh, coming from the mad scientist, uh, from the doctor. Uh, one of them is going to be a 28.5 by 25. Beautiful flat face valves. Um, I want to say 32 pound springs. Nothing major. Um, then we are going with the full 32, uh, 32.28 brand new Tillotson casting. Uh, full on cast head. We're going to have one of those. Um, we have, we've finally gotten five millimeter retainers and keepers for the EC head, so we'll be running it. And we'll have the new um, bigger valve MoFlo to show you from Mark. That's gonna be going on the three incher. That's gonna be damned exciting. 36 millimeter intakes, guys. 36 millimeter intake valve, 27 exhaust. Oh, just insane scary power going to be made and you know easy it's a no-brainer a no-brainer anyway we're going to have a lot of fun Rafa's going to build us a new bike big fat tire five inch uh, we're going to order up some live axle stuff um great things coming guys thank you for your patience i know i haven't posted a lot lately i appreciate each and every one of your comments and your posts and uh anybody wants any work done hit me up the more stuff we can do here the more we can support this channel and the more stuff we can show you take care